Alright, so from the looks of things, I do believe that I have fixed the issue with the recording so we shouldn't have any more breakups in the video, which is great because this will be the last episode here, or the last part of this episode. So anyways, this is The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, Part 5, and we'll wrap it all up right here and then we'll be ready to go for... I don't know if there's an Episode 6. If there's an Episode 6, we'll be ready for that. If not, then we'll be hopping in to... think... Michonne. The Walking Dead Michonne. Okay, I'm gonna try to not walk into any of these dead things, because dead things aren't good. Uh, I don't... Oh, jeez. I think shooting would cause a, a panic attack. I can't see a damn thing out here! What? I, how am I supposed to know... Uh, okay, so there's a walker there. So we don't want to go too far to the right. I don't know what's going on on the left, though, because I was hearing stuff from the left ear cup. On that good old headset. I'm trying to, like, look at, like, the bottom of the screen to see if there are any legs that pop up. I can't see a damn thing! What? Visibility is at an all-time low. This is horrendous. What? Alright, so I guess as the temperatures get more and more disgusting, it doesn't slow down the walkers per se, but it actually gets to the point where the walkers stop moving because they're so cold. So, uh, there is some merit to this going north. There is, there is, because if you can get up there where you don't have the threat of walkers, make a nice indoor community, right, but have the outdoors be disgusting, you should be good, theoretically speaking, right? You can go on scouting trips, little scavenging missions and all of that, but, I mean, you're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit no matter what happens, but that's at least your best chance of survival, at least I would assume so. If you could get to a place where the walkers aren't moving, aren't attacking, aren't listening for noise, they're kind of stuck in their tracks... Frozen solid, if you will. Kindly stop for me. Achievement unlocked. But I feel like that has some merit. I also see the merit of not suffering like an Eskimo for the rest of your life and going down south where Jane? it's nice and warm. Kenny. What's up, you Kenneth? Right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Kenneth, you don't know what happened. You were not there, sir. You were not there. Jane! We got attacked. I almost died. Twice. Maybe three times. The one through the windshield, then I fell, and then there was that Wait. other one that was out from underneath the car. Oh, thank Christ. She not swaddling Jane, the kid, though. You okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? I'm not gonna say anything. Nope. Not my business. He's... What are you saying? No. No! I don't know what that noise is. Sorry if it shows up on the recording. No. Not again. Some sort of loud noise. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? What is happening? You have to trust me. I don't I'm see what he really is. Kenneth doesn't look so happy. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! We can't kill each other! Not after all this! We're all that's left! Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Wasn't she just saying you can't tell me what to do a little bit ago? And now she's telling me what to do? Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck off! Fuck you! <laughs> Stop! 
This isn't good. Let This is obnoxious. Why? Go. I ain't going nowhere. I'm getting in between this. Enough. Fucking psycho. Stop. You don't have Get to do up. this. Uh. Kenneth. Uh. I'll fucking kill you. Uh. Ah, she's clawing at his eyeball. Broke the clot. She bleeding. Yeah. I'll fucking kill you. I knew you would. I don't think Jane's gonna make it much longer. Kenny's a lot stronger. I don't want to shoot either of them. I don't want to shoot Kenny, man. That's not right. You can't. You can't shoot Kenny. This is not a good situation, though, at all. Kenny. He's gone, Clem. At least grab the knife and the holster for it. He's gone. Shoot, Kenny. You didn't have to kill her, Kenny. I'm sorry, darling. But I did. I thought about it. I thought about shooting Kenny, to be completely honest there. But Clem alone... That's not good. Clem alone with a baby since AJ's not freaking oh. dead. I'm right behind you. Freaking Kenneth, man. How can she hear it that well with all the doors and windows closed? Oh my God. AJ. Hmm. Oh my God. Oh. oh, okay. The window is open. It's cracked there at the top. Okay? Did not notice that. He's alive. AJ. Let me see him. I thought... I thought we lost you, buddy. And then you... You didn't have to kill her. You didn't have to kill Jane. It was me or her, Clem. She was trying to kill me, too. If she hadn't lied about Alvin here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just, Shouldn't have gone that far at all anyway. would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda and was looking out for herself. I think that was the only way that she could be like, hey, Clem, uh, just pay attention to the fact that this dude's a psychopath, and if Listen, uh, he gets to you, you're gonna to die. Either. I thought she killed Alvy, Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I'd never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You sure you about that, Kenny? Me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. I got nothing to say. By the time I got my head straight, it was too late. We were already at each other's throats. Kenneth, you killed it another lady. Over. Literally everything is gone. Clementine's whole group from the beginning. Kenny's whole group from the beginning. Literally everything's gone. Just for Clem and Kenny Let's to take this damn child. Between us in this place. Really? Ha! <sighs> 
<sighs> That's pretty stressful. Okay, cool. Nine days later. Well, we got Clem. And smoke. We got Clem and we got smoke. And Kenny and a bait. All right. It's just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. If it's been nine days without a food or water. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> that's pretty rough. Hey. Now, what if you get up there and it's a uh, it's like a dumpster fire? <laughs> Come on, Alvy, we got this. Please tell me it's not a dumpster he fire. Hey, Wellington actually exists. Holy shit! We did it, Clem. Huh? That's that's got to be it. I. <laughs> About time. <laughs> you were telling me. Perfect closer on that one right there. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We'll finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Damn, homie, chill. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapon. Approach the gate. I mean, that is all we have. Just a couple is that of pistol at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. What's up, Edith? Name's Kenny, and this year's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. I don't have anything to say. So, is Chris to hear? That's not a question I want to know the answer to. Right? A lot of people call it that. Okay. So, what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. How's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Because they're full, man. Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Yep. Things might change you in a few months. you fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. Um... This is bullshit. I know, dear. <laughs> But I don't make the rules. Do you know what we've been through? You have any idea what it took for us to get here? About the loss now, of like sixteen now people. You're just gonna turn give or take. Away. Look, I don't mean to be harsh, but a whole lot of other people went through a whole lot of stuff to get here too, and they all got here before you. And, and don't think you're the first people we've had to turn away. You're not. But that doesn't mean I'm not. Real, real sorry to have to do this. If, if it was up to me, I... Just take the kids. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. Kenny's we'll trying to make a here. final sacrifice. Please. I'll, I'll ask. Just give me a second. You don't need to look at me like that. You're just gonna leave us? If they'll only take you two, then that's how it's gotta be. We don't even know these people. It doesn't matter. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. Man, 
That's no good. Are you kidding? We can take the children, but just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance for you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here where it's safe. But that's lame, man. You two will have a chance. No, Kelly, no, I went no. through all of that shit, losing Why all those people just this? for you to leave in the end? Because that's the only way for both of you. Now think about Alvy here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. No. We're leaving. All of us. Together. Clem, please. After please everything, leave. man, you can't take one more you person away stop. from Clem. Stop, okay? We're not staying, so just stop. That's that. It sounds like... It sounds like she means business. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. Extra I'm supplies. supposed to give out one per group, but... Uh, look. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh... Sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. True. You all stay safe out there. Well, we got some supplies. We got Kenny. We got AJ. It's about all... Oh, okay. That's why it's called Wellington. Because it's Wellington Shipping Company, whatever. Global Shipping. So they named it after the shipping company that, like, the crates and stuff that were used. But anyways... You're as stubborn as a damn mule. It's a crap situation, but at least yeah. we got some sort of I direction. I got that from. At least she said come back. There might be some uh, new members being accepted, so... We've got hope. We've got an idea. Potential plan, maybe. Possibilities are endless. Not really. But, it, you know, it gives us something to look forward to. And that looks like that's that, actually. I think this is the end of Season 2 of The Walking Dead here. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. When The Walking Dead rolls around next time, we will jump into the next uh, next rendition, uh, which I believe is, like I said, Michonne. Protected the baby. Only 58% only of people protected the baby. Went to help Luke. 66.7 did not. Good. Asked to leave with Mike. Nobody asked to leave with Mike, basically. You and 49% didn't shoot Kenny. In interesting. Only 21% of the people stayed with Kenny throughout that whole thing. Are you kidding me? After everything we've been through, people just up and left to go to Wellington? That's dumb. But anyways, like I said, that will be the end of Season 2. Unless... I missed a chapter or something like that. So anyways, the next time this rolls around, we'll hop into the next game or chapter six if there is one. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.